Hey guys, it's Dave. It's coming to you from the paddock here in Southern Maryland. It is Sunday. It's about, it's about 1.30. It's 83 degrees out there. Still the big door open. It's getting a little hotter and a little more humid. So I think tomorrow summer comes back for about seven days. But it's uh, for late August. It's uh, pretty nice out. So I've got the doors open, fans running. Uh, let's see. We got Sasha over here watching me. Been cleaning up the paddock, making it neater. So all three bays are much cleaner now. And I've got to get two more of these bookshelves for my HU product that's in the boxes. And I need a couple of industrial shelving units to go into the third warehouse to get all my tools and cleaning and parts all up on shelves. But except for those two things, the paddock is largely done it's complete it's a project that i started back in november so we're coming up on what 10 months um but i feel pretty good about it the workspace is great the day train space is great the tobacco is organized my little humidors are up and running all the cars are in the right places they're all on chargers everything's swept and clean all the dirt and bugs and leaves and everything is out of here so that's great um Today, I continue my quest to burn down the iris cask. Uh, that's what's in the pipe today. So that's what we'll smile. This is like my third bowl already today. Get the fan on. It's not helping at all. Thank you, Greg. So my mouth loves this stuff. This is like five days in a row now. Really good. I'm very getting very, very familiar with this, so it's it's great. When you've been smoking it for a while, like your second bowl, your third bowl, your fourth day, your fifth day, the real the tang um, starts to come through from my palate. Still very much a blue collar blend. It's down to earth. It's earthy hay. Maybe some autumn leaf. Very good though. Very down to earth. Great blend. I usually don't recommend drinks, but I have to recommend three. So I'm not much for energy drinks, and I don't drink this because it's a monster energy energy drink. I drink it because it's a coffee drink. This Irish cream is fantastic. This loca mocha is fantastic. And this mean bean is really good. So those are our three monster products. If you're looking for a cold drink to go with the pipe I can hardly recommend those three I don't even want to look at the sugar content but they're all three they're fabulous and they uh, they go well with the pipe so there you go so guys this is a sharp thing Sunday I know it's supposed to be cigar Sunday I know it's supposed to be sharp things Saturday or something like this should be on a Freedom Friday. I'm breaking the rules. I'm reticent. Uh, no. I'm way behind reviewing this or showing this to you. This is from a friend of mine. Uh, Jack. My buddy Jack runs this. He makes these knives. He's not a knife assembler. He grinds the metal. He assembles these knives. So uh, I'm going to show this one to you. But Shed Knives is the name. He's got a real good website up there. He makes every knife himself. So I want to probably be honest and say he can be slow. So um, don't get too mad at him. If you order a product of his, it might take a while to get to you. Um, it might be next day. This one was almost two months. So. I just think it depends on where you catch him in his making cycle. Mm. 
Anyway, I'm going to turn you around and do a little box opening. I'll show you this thing. All right, I'm still learning how to do this, show you real time from my desk. But I'm getting better at each time. So, set a nice box. Shows you that they're all heat treated. You get a little, uh, so this is the Atlas model. It gives you all the statistics on it. Yeah, this is last year's product brochure. But he only gets better each year. So there are all his models. There's his colors. Anyway, nice brochure. Good guy, by the way. All right, so here's the knife itself. I wish I could, I wish this was weight division. I wish you could feel how heavy this thing is. Look how thick the tang is. Glass breaker on the back. Lanyard pole, if you wish. Kydex sheath. And it is in there, man. It is not coming out. You, know, you can put it on your belt. This thing is not coming out. In fact, I think you can mount this thing upside down. And you wouldn't have any problems. When I yank it out, there you go. Again, look how thick that blade is. Uh, what can I show you? There's a pen, I guess. But this thing is a fabulous knife, man. This thing is so heavy. It is, uh, it is not meant for delicate work. This is meant for cutting your plug. This is meant for chopping. This is a fabulous utility tool. I would not carry it for self-defense. I would not carry it for anything that's dainty. But if you need to chop or get something done, if you're doing something serious, this product is what you want to go with. Anyway, he does all the work himself. So I just wanted to show it to you. I consider this a great product. Holds the edge very well. Very easy to sharpen. Guys, if you're looking for a knife, check out Shed Knives. And there's your Atlas. Again, I can't explain it. It's just unexplainable how heavy how useful this thing is as a utility. All right, guys, that's it. We'll keep it uncharacteristically short today. What a great Sunday afternoon. I feel good, man. Another day, got up early. Hit all the chores. Now it's uh, coming up on 2 o'clock, and I'm kind of got everything done for the day. Do some reading. Watch a movie later. Who knows? All right, guys. Hope we have a great Sunday. And uh, hopefully we'll see you for a dog yard Sunday night.